Hello you guys, welcome to today's video. It is going to be a monthly reset vlog and this is coming way later than I expected and I'm hoping that I can like <laughs> piece together all of the choppy parts that I <laughs> have. Um, I did not do a great job of narrating and it, we're just kind of everywhere. But I do have some fun things to share. I do declutter my nail polish. We're gonna switch out my fragrance tray, which I really like to do every single month. We are going to reorganize the makeup drawers I have sitting behind me and I actually feel so much better since reorganizing these makeup drawers. And then I'll show you what one day of filming, what one day after filming looks like when I was in the middle of filming palette week and kind of like cleaning up for that. So those are the things I'm gonna be sharing in this monthly reset vlog. I do want to typically get these vlogs out earlier in the month. So hopefully May's comes earlier than April's. But I still had so much fun filming this and I wanted to share it with you. So if you're interested in this monthly reset, stay tuned. First, if you haven't yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content, palette themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup, I'd love you to consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. always you guys we like to start out a new month which by the time you're seeing this we're probably 20 days into the month but I did film this much earlier in the month we like to reset our fragrance tray we like to be smelling a little different every month so come along with me while we swap out my perfume tray okay you guys during my monthly resets I want to like swap out the my fragrance tray so this was my fragrance tray from last month and i think i'm gonna take everything out except for my skylar pink canyon fragrance i'm so 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 close to being done with this this was definitely my most used fragrance from this month i really really enjoyed this this has a really really beautiful clean scent to it um kind of reminds me of one of the ones from Giorgio Armani but I just kind of want to finish this off to have this as an empty especially because I just purchased so many new fragrances during the Sephora VIV sale like I need some space where I store my fragrance so we're going to keep that to use that up I was um this I had just recently purchased. You can tell I used some of this up. This is from Finery. It's the Mystic Figures. This has also like a very clean slash aquatic scent. It's kind of interesting. I wouldn't say it's a favorite, but I also like it. It just wouldn't be like, I wouldn't purchase this again after I finish it. Like it's nice to try, nice to use, but not a rebuy for me. So this one we're going to put back. I'm also going to put back my little um, Versace Dylan purple little guy. This is really, really nice. I like this little guy and I actually use this quite a bit too. It doesn't even really look like I've used that much, but I swear littlest bit goes a long way with this, but I have, I was using this the previous month as well. So I'm ready to just put this back for a little bit. I have my Fleur vanilla skin, which I've had this going for the last couple of months. Um, and I just want to have room on my tray for like all my new things. So I'm going to take that away this one I feel like I'm getting so close to finishing. This is from Sol de Janeiro. It's the Tropical Nights, one of the like limited edition summer scents. I do want to finish this, but I also want room on my tray. What do I do? I feel like maybe... Oh man, what do I do? Do I keep this on the tray? Maybe I'll keep that on the tray. We'll see what we have space for. Um, and then I am going to put back Woody Chestnut from Dossier. I have gotten clearly quite a bit of use out of this as well. This is very similar in fragrance to Replica by the Fireside, um, which I also own and use quite a bit. So I'm going to put this back. I'm going to keep all my little samples here. I have some of the commodity samples and just some random little things sitting over to the side, but... Let's go pick some more fragrances to add to the tray. Quickly before we go over to my fragrance tray, I know I'm gonna be adding this one. This is brand new to me. It's from Jo Malone. It's the Yuzu Zest. I've only smelled this twice, but I've really enjoyed it so far and feel like this could be a definite new favorite for the spring summertime. So that is gonna go front and center because the packaging is so cute. And then I'm also going to include the Kaoli Yum Pistachio Gelato little mini guy that I have. I recently picked this up during the Sephora sale as well, and I'm really excited about this one. So does that fit over here? Yes. Okay. Well, we've got plenty of room for a couple more. Okay. Here are all the fragrances I have to choose from. I will say I am considering decluttering. I know I mentioned it last month, but I think I will end up decluttering Dolce & Gabbana 
garden. It's just not a favorite and I don't want to like waste days wearing a fragrance that like isn't a love. So I think I might declutter that. And I'm so on the fence. I'll probably end up keeping Jo Malone Sea Daffodil. I don't love it. But I also feel like the bottle in the collection, like I don't know if I could get rid of it. Anyway, okay. I know that I want to pull Floral Marshmallow, but I'm wondering if I wait. I Like, I definitely want this to be my birthday fragrance because it was my birthday fragrance last year. And maybe this will just be the scent memory now tied to, like, all my birthdays 32 and forward. Like, all my 30s, except for 30, 30, 30 and 31. Um, I'm thinking about that, but maybe I'll hold off one more month to put that on the tray. I've definitely been thinking about my Ellis Brooklyn sunfruit i think this is such a good pick for kind of spring summer so i think i'm gonna pull that and then i'm also wanting to pull the Giorgio armani my way i've been itching to pull this this just has really fond scent memories tied to it kind of like warmer weather or this time of year and then i'm like do i pull should i pull the dime seven summers this one kind of reminds, I definitely want to try more dime fragrances. I've heard good recommendations for a couple of their fragrances. This one kind of reminds me of this Pacifica Dream Moon, which also reminds me of um, Ariana Grande's Cloud. But this one, I wasn't loving this right away because I'm not a huge fan of actually like that scent profile or like that, you know, DNA. Um, but clearly I, over time, really grew to like this because... I think there's pear in this and the pear really does kind of like come through and kind of cuts out some of the other like I don't know what it is that I don't I don't know if it's like vanilla I don't know if it's the I don't know what it is that just like I don't love about cloud or I don't love about this pacifica scent but I have I really clearly enjoyed this last summer because I have a decent dent going especially because I purchased so many scents last summer okay this one is that like and then, oh, I also have Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt to consider as well. Ooh, oh, this is so tough. Okay, let's, hmm, hmm, okay. I'm going to take these three over to the train. If I still have room, I'll come grab Jo Malone. Okay, no room for Jo Malone, and I had to kick out the Tropical Nights, but I do kind of like the, the color scheme situation we got going on here with, like, the pops of, like, bright, yellowy, limey, just fun colors. So this is going to be the fragrance tray for April. I've mentioned many times I'm going to Las Vegas, so I'm going to bring, um, I think I'm going to end up bringing Net or Nutty Cocoa Floor and have that be my fragrance, my scent. That's the plan. We'll see if I stick to it, but... When I'm home, this is the fragrance tray. All right, you guys, I really am feeling overwhelmed by my nail polish collection. So I wanted to declutter my polishes and just see what I still like, what I don't. I've had so much fun the last year and a half or so doing like my own custom nail polishes with different eyeshadow shades that I just feel like I have a lot of lingering polishes that I no longer need. Um, but I also love painting my nails. So it's really hard for me to <laughs> declutter. And I've been getting more into sometimes doing like a press on nail or like a nail sticker. So come along with me while we declutter my nail polish and see if we can get rid of anything. Okay, one thing I've really been wanting to do is go through all of my nail polishes and kind of decide what I want to keep versus what I don't. Currently I have two nail polish holders. I don't necessarily know that I could condense this down to one, but there's definitely options in here that I just don't care about having anymore. So, maybe we can go through these together. We can start with my Gabrielle Cosmetics or Gabrielle Cosmetics nail polishes. These are really, really nice. They have good staying power. I just don't find myself reaching for just like a plain matte nail, basically ever. Now, I do think this is my only true white. So, I am going to keep this. And I think... I may also keep the peach and the purple just because I do really like, like these are shades that I would naturally reach for as a nail polish. Now this brown, I just do not think works for me as a nail polish. I just don't love it. Is that accurate? Let me, like, is that accurate? Let's paint the nails and see. Okay, yeah, that's totally accurate. Okay, this one can go. 
I also don't see myself reaching for a gray. So I'm going to say that one can go as well. And then I have, ooh, I have like a light blue that I think I may also keep. And a part of me wants to keep this blue too. Just because I feel like this would make a pretty fall color. Yes, okay, that actually is pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep, so we really only ended up decluttering two from Gabrielle Cosmetics. So we're gonna keep those. Next up, let's move on to Nails Ink. I swear I have one more Nails Ink at least. Okay, I had quite a few more Nails Ink. So I didn't realize I actually do have a true white in my Nails Ink. So I'm gonna get rid of the Gabrielle Cosmetics just because I really love the Nails Ink formula. So we will say goodbye to that. I'm gonna set this up here. Okay, so keeping I think I'll end up keeping all of my Nails Ink polishes. I really do like the formula and really do like all of the shades that I have. So these will all stay. I'll also be keeping this one from LA Girl. This is the Gel Extreme Shine Gel Like Polish in the shade Eden. I love this for a hot pink for the summer. So pretty. Next up, let's see. Do I only have one Orly shade? Do I want to keep this one from Orly? It is kind of like that iridescent shade but I feel like I have quite a few iridescent shades but I do I feel like I would just be decluttering this just to declutter like this is the type of shade I actually really like so I will keep this one from Orly oop there's another nails ink one hiding I'm gonna also keep that okay next up from Sally Hansen I have these two miracle gels my daughter got me this for my birthday it's not necessarily like my go-to nail polish shade but i won't declutter it simply because she got it for me and then i have this really beautiful like silvery blue one which i also enjoy this is going so well isn't it you guys i'm gonna keep those two and then i have ooh, one more from the sally hansen miracle gel this i absolutely love i think this is quartz of kisses is the name of it such a pretty pink i do really like a pink nail polish can you tell so those are all gonna stay okay then i have these from opi and these two are practically identical so i have you had me at, oh yeah they are identical except for the caps are different they're both you had me at halo which one is more full i think i'll just keep the one with the black top since i have others with the black top i'm also going to keep this one this is show us your tips um i really enjoy sh like a sherry like a periwinkle shade like this as well and then I'll also keep my top coat from OPI as well as I really enjoyed this as well. This is Pixel Dust um, and I love a sparkly pink shade. So we're doing well, right? No. Okay, I have this Glaze Top Gel Coat. This is for UV LED gel polish. I really personally don't do the UV polishes, so I don't really have a place or a need for this. So I'm going to say goodbye to this one. And then, okay, I have this one, which I will be keeping. This is from Cirque, Cirque Colors. Um, and this is in the shade Bay, which stands for Big Aura Energy. And I really like this one. It's kind of like a metallic, lighter pink. So this will stay. And then let's see, I'm gonna take these nail files and these Dashing Diva. I, by the way, I love the Dashing Diva nails as well i have quite a few of those and i have quite a few fake nails or like tips right now that i decided not to include in this nail declutter okay let's see how these all fit in i'm gonna start maybe with my gabrielle cosmetics i feel like Okay, we might add to this, but <laughs> this is what you nail know, polish holder number one is looking like. Ooh, can we get this down to just one? Okay, I have a lot of old Essie polishes, and that's kind of where I think maybe we can do most of our damage. I will tell you right now, I will keep this one from Olive in June. It's in the shade BP, really, really beautiful, light kind of periwinkle shade. And I will also be keeping this one from Cleota Cosmetics. This is in the shade Light Fast. Really, really beautiful multi-chrome nail polish. 
and then I will likely keep the majority of my What's Up beauty polishes. So I have a top coat. I'm again going to keep. I love having extra top coats. I am going to keep this really beautiful green one. This is in the shade Peridot. Love that shade. I will also keep. I'm going to keep. I think I'm going to keep all but the matte nail polish I have by them. It's in the shade Clay. I'm going to get rid of Clay just because that's not really a shade I would reach for. But I'm going to keep the rest. Okay. Next on to Essie. Some of these are really getting old. I'm going to keep this one. I really, well, can I even use this one? Ooh. Okay, that is a bummer. This is from Essie. This, can you tell how much I've used of that? This is in the shade Wet Suited Up, and this is definitely just like gloopy and old. I'm gonna see if I can still get this though. Let me see if it's available at Target. Yeah, like some of these, like I can't even get this one open. This is Make a Splash, a really beautiful blue, but I probably don't need that anymore. It's quite old. This one, um, I actually do still really like. This is from Essie as well. It's in the shade Tide of Your Life. It's kind of, it's kind of similar to what I have on my nails right now. Okay, this one I think is relatively new. This is in the shade Let It Ripple. And that is a really beautiful, like lighter blue sparkly shade. So I will keep this. Okay, I'm struggling with this one because I don't see myself wearing, like it's not exactly the shade I typically go for. This is in the shade wireless is more it comes off more like gray and that's just not me so i think maybe i will declutter this one this one's so old i think but i do really love this shade this is in the shade boxer shorts kind of like that periwinkle purple i really like Ooh, that's still it's not gloopy okay i'm gonna keep this one all right i have this which is in the shade boatloads of love is kind of like a more white sort of shade yes but it's like kind of a pearlescent white i'm gonna keep this that one still works just fine okay this one i'm definitely keeping this is love at frost sight really beautiful sparkly blue i love a sparkly blue keeping for the twill of it really similar to what i have on my nails right now as well but still works if these two still work i'm gonna keep them these are part of their winter collection Ooh, cap is kind of broken on this one i feel like we're gonna have to get rid of this one, which is so sad because I do, oh, there we go. I do really like this one. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one and can we keep this one? Yeah, both of them look to be just fine. So we'll keep those two minis. I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Piggy Paint. I believe this is like non-toxic children's, children's, um, Nail polish, really beautiful kind of metallic sparkly pink, which we've established I like. I will also keep this red nail polish. This is in Tamble. I don't even know who makes this, um, but I did get this in some sort of like subscription. Okay, this I feel like, is this gloopy? Yeah, kind of. Okay, that's a bummer though. This shade Lady like also kind of looks grayish to me, like kind of like a shade that I wouldn't get a lot of use out of. This one looks so old and gloopy, yes. Oh my gosh, can you see that? Can you see how gloopy that is? That's so bad. Okay, this is definitely getting the boot. This is in the shade Around the Bend. Okay, I'm gonna keep this light pink in the shade Fiji. That one looks to be just fine. This. Well, this is kind of like a light, like cool toned pink. I will keep this as well. This is in the Snuggle is Real. And then last but not least, another like baby pink sort of shade but kind of a brighter baby pink this is in moochie moochie and i will keep that so let's see how we're doing for space okay that kind of just gives me more space i like, do have some dashing diva let's see let me grab my tips okay i do have like all of these but i don't really like this fits really well in here maybe i could do that but okay just gives me like a little bit of more space to like put put things um so we did actually end up decluttering a total of like this feels okay this feels good two four six eight ten twelve twelve polishes decluttered i feel good about that i feel good about that so task one of spring cleaning beauty 
beauty style done all right you guys then also mentioned at the introduction of this video i i reorganized these drawers they were just not in any sort of order that made sense and it was not making me not making my experience of shopping my stash so come along with me while we reorganize these drawers to make a little bit more sense all right you guys in the spirit of spring cleaning i'm really wanting to i'm knocking stuff over on my desk i'm really wanting to go through my makeup drawers wipe everything down reorganize everything and kind of figure out if there's any potential declutter items maybe things i can put on the chopping block so right now the way that i have my drawers in this top drawer i have eyeshadow palettes that i'm still in the process of testing i actually think i want to move these i think i want to reorganize so like this drawer and then my next drawer which is eyeshadow palettes that I want to focus on. Do I want these at the top or the bottom? I'm trying to decide if I want these. I feel like I want these like towards the bottom and then start with like primer and stuff in this top drawer. I just feel like I need to switch that up. So I'm actually going to remove all of these eyeshadow palettes. The second drawer of palettes is specifically for eyeshadow palettes that I kind of want to focus on for the month. Okay, so we're going to remove all of this stuff. Okay, drawer three is all face palettes. So I don't think there's any face palettes. Only thing I'm potentially thinking of decluttering would be this one from Adept Cosmetics, just because this really does not necessarily like match my like it's just not like a great match for me maybe i'll pull this i'm gonna i'm gonna do a chopping block we're gonna pull items that i want to pull into a chopping block so this is gonna be on the chopping block i'm gonna set this aside okay then i'm also thinking i'm gonna move this drawer down um but i'll just quickly go through my palettes and see if there's anything else that i would potentially be thinking about decluttering and i don't really think that there is yeah, no, nothing else that I'm thinking of decluttering from here. I guess actually the other thing I should put in a chopping block is my Dior Forever Glow Face Palette. This is something I recluttered into my collection and I just, you know, I do think I do. Uh, I do actually want to keep it. Maybe I just need to pull this into my actual shop, my stash. Okay. We're gonna clear this drawer out as well. Okay, I'm gonna wipe these three drawers down and then I can start to move stuff up into them. Okay, so top drawer I really do, I hope the lighting is okay, you guys. Top drawer I really wanna be like, maybe primer and foundation. Okay, my problem right now too is I don't have like a store, like a way to store my foundations that I'm like in love with really. Right now my primers are all just like in this container right here. I was thinking maybe I can try and do foundations. Ugh, let's see. Okay, I hope you guys can see. I promise I am trying with the <laughs> um lighting here. Okay, I wonder if I do like will two of these fit. still don't like love the way that foundations like I don't love the way that this looks for storage Ugh, yeah I don't love that like really at all but <laughs> oh also okay I feel like this is going to be on the chopping block. <laughs> Am I even in frame? This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude. I really liked this when I first got it. Then I got a shade that works better for me. And now I'm like not sure if I still like it. So I want to see how I feel about this. Other than that, I think all foundations are kind of good to go. I really hate the way that this is stored. Okay. <laughs> it's really not a lot better. I don't know if you can even see in... Okay, I don't really even know how well you can see. It's not a whole lot better, but we're just gonna roll with this for drawer one. Drawer two, powders. Oh, I'm gonna need to wipe this down, but powders, concealers, and maybe bronzer. I feel like maybe I could fit all of that in this drawer. Okay, I just turned my air off, so hopefully it stops making 
noises. I actually, for sure, I'm going to put my Kosas bronzer on the chopping block. Like, I definitely don't know if I want to keep this. And then I'm also, like, just so on the fence about the Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer. I used to love this. Just don't know how I feel about it anymore. So both of these are going to be on the chopping block. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up decluttering the Nabla baking and setting powder. I don't think it needs to be on the chopping block because I just had this pulled in my shop, my stash rotation, and just don't love the way that this sits on my under eyes. It just looks way too heavy, so I think this will actually end up being a declutter. Wow, is this actually how full or not full my powders are? That's feeling a lot better. And then concealer. Okay, for con my concealers... There's not a lot here, but I just have these couple that are just in this fresh tin. Okay, but actually that works. That works. And I can even actually move up this bronzer and put that there. Or even probably put this there. Oh, wow. I'm feeling so good about this drawer. That works so well. Okay, drawer three. We're going to wipe down and move blushes to this drawer. Okay, a blush that jumps right out to me as potentially being on the chopping block is this one from R.E.M. I just want to see if I like this shade on me. This is in the shade Stage Mom, so this is definitely going to be on the chopping block. And then this isn't necessarily on the chopping block, but I really feel like I need to get use out of this R.E.M. Lip to Cheek in the shade Spell. I'm like, is this... I feel like it's like I'm having to like warm it up. That is really pretty. Like, I feel like I need to just... I definitely need to pull this for my shop, my stash. Reminder to self. But I think, are there any other blushes that I'm needing to put on the chopping block? The only other thing I think about is this one from Physicians Formula. It's just such thick packaging. I like the blush. I'm wondering... If I like frankened this blush and if I repressed this into, that's so disgusting. I think I tried to like repress a lipstick. I will clean that off, but ignore that. Um, I wonder if I try to like repress it into one of these to like do a custom blush and just get this like really bulky packaging out of here. This is just like, I don't love the packaging. I think I actually might try and just repress this into one of these pans and clean that out. <laughs> I think we're gonna do that now. I am just trying to bring in only three blushes this first part of the year um, But it feels really good to just like clear out a little bit of extra space For blush, you know, like we got a little extra space then but this is gonna be the blush drawer Actually, I wonder do I want to now that I have Okay, I have this extra organizer like would I rather split these up into three can I do that nicely mm. okay I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep this here okay we're gonna keep the blush organized like so. Not my favorite, but it works. It works. Okay, we're gonna move highlight into here. Okay, here are all of my highlighters currently that actually fits really well, and I still have space back here. I even like... Okay, I have a lot of space back there. Okay, more to come on what I'm gonna do with that space, but that feels good that I have like extra storage space to play with. I already like how the sh or how the drawers are condensing. Okay, next up I think we're gonna do, maybe next up should I make this drawer 
my face palette drawer. I could do that. I think I am going to do that. Okay, don't necessarily like love how it's organized, but it works, it works. Okay, so there's the face palette drawer. Next up, next up I wanna do gloss in this drawer and see, I wanna see if we're finally condensed down to one drawer for gloss. All right, we've got three of these. Okay, you guys, I'm kind of shook right now. We are like really getting down there with my glosses. Yes, I do know that I do currently have like <laughs> gloss everywhere in my car. I have some still in my desk drawer at work. I have some new ones that I'm testing. I have some that I purchased, but like I think we're into one gloss drawer now. Okay, that is actually so exciting. So we've got glosses in this drawer. In this drawer, I think I'm gonna do the rest of my lip products. So um, liquid lipsticks. So liquid lipsticks and lip pencils will go in this drawer. I'm gonna wipe this one down. My camera battery's about to die too. Okay, here we have lip liners back here and then liquid lipstick with some liquid lipstick overflow. Like we definitely have room for more here, which also feels really good. Like we have so much space in some of these drawers. And no, I'm not saying I need to fill it up with things, but it's just nice to have a little bit extra space. So then we have This drawer right here, which I think I'm gonna just make eye products, so we'll have brow stuff, we'll have eyeshadow singles, and mascara in this drawer. Okay, here we have mascara, then we have some, like a few random brow things, and then some lashes. I don't expect my like brow stash to get out of control, so I feel like that should be enough space. And then back that way, I have single potted shadows as well as some shadow sticks. So this drawer I'm also feeling good about, which just leaves the bottom two drawers which I will again fill with new palettes that I'm testing as well as the palettes that I would like to focus on this month. All right, you guys, we did it. We reorganized the drawers. And this wouldn't be a monthly reset chore vlog if we didn't clean my brushes. So that is what we are gonna wrap up with. Let's go ahead and get to cleaning the brushes. Um, Hello, I wanted you guys to be able to see how messy my desk was. That's why I'm showing all of this. But I am gonna be editing a video while I like clean my brushes and clean up my desk. 
so I probably will <clears throat> like put some sort of music over it rather than like um sound what am I saying but a bunch of the products on my desk right now are things that I held during the Sephora VIB sale haul so they're new products to me and usually I like to put those like products I'm still testing end up in this little container so I need to figure out how to fit the majority of them in this container and then I'm going to clean up the rest of my desk I need to clean my brushes off I'm just going to like spot clean my eyeshadow brushes using my cinema secret but then I do kind of want to like actually like shampoo my like foundation and like my face brushes so i think we're gonna do that today but yeah i just wanted to like let you know what's happening because i probably won't be talking through this part in today's monthly research vlog would love to know if you've recently done any makeup chores let me know what they were let me know what you were working your little booty off on but other than that thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next video bye